Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for our webinar, Increase Efficiency and Enhance Communications Through Cisco Telepresence. Presenting today is Derek Dyson, Generations Bank Assistant Vice President and Support Services Officer, and David Hasferder, Terakai Systems Engineer. Derek has three years of experience with Generations Bank. He graduated from University at Albany with a major in financial market regulation with concentrations in IT and economics. Derek was also selected as Indie Banker of the Month for November 2013 by Independent Banker Magazine. David has more than nine years of experience as a system, systems engineer. He is a Cisco Telepresence video sales engineer and specialist, a Cisco certified network associate voice, a VMware certified professional, and a VMware technical sales professional. He holds a Bachelor of Science in Information Management Technology from Syracuse University iSchool. We're pleased to have all of you join us this morning. So without further ado, I'd like to turn the presentation over to Derek and get this thing started. Thank you, Jacob. Derek? Good morning, everybody. So as Jacob said, we're going to be talking about Cisco Telepresence and how Generations Bank leveraged that to be able to accomplish our goals of implementing what we call a smart office in our newest office in Farmington, New York. So the vision was obviously to create a smart office. Um, we needed to implement and innovate a way for customers to communicate with other subject matter experts in different locations. So if we had an investment advisor representative that was in a different location, uh, we wanted a way for customers to be able to walk into that new office and meet face-to-face -face with that expert instantly. We wanted to be able to share documents, information, and transmit signatures in real time, provide the ability to conference in other experts to meet face-to-face -face as required. So that would be if you're talking to a loan specialist and you want to talk about insurance as well, then we could conference in that insurance agent and you'd have your one-stop shop right there. Um, we need to deliver clear video and audio quality for both the customer as well as the employee and make the experience as simple as possible for the customer while providing the greatest level of functionality. So that was the vision for the smart office. Some challenges arose in creating that experience. Um, one was time constraints. Uh, multiple platforms that we looked at before we looked at Cisco Telepresence they would have accomplished the general idea, but not nearly as well. Um, those other solutions were clunky, not built off existing infrastructure, and they really would have been intimidating to our employees. Um, also, the audio and video quality of the other platforms just was not there. It was nothing that we would be comfortable sharing with our customers, and it was nothing that we would use internally. Um, we needed to ensure that minimal effort would need to be input on the customer side. Um, Cisco Telepresence made that really easy. Some of the other things we looked at, um, it was a pretty large process in order to even get on a video call, let alone add someone to the video call. Um, providing the screen sharing ability, a few of the other platforms we looked at had it, but it wasn't nearly as crisp, and you couldn't even read the documents on the screen. So that was a big problem for us. And then obviously, as I stated before, we wanted to build off of our existing infrastructure so that whatever we implemented, employees would immediately be comfortable with it and would embrace it. So how we chose Terakai. Uh, the big one was timing. We actually had a... Uh, connection to Terakai that we didn't even know about. Um, one of our employees here, our training officer now, actually had a connection to our now account representative, Scott Stoll, at Terakai, and um, Scott called one day and out of the blue kind of uh, understood our problem where we were coming from and really had the vision and the expertise on his side to be able to say, hey, we can help you out with that. Um, they offered us a precise solution, and really, the more we talked with them, we saw them as an extension of our internal team. So the demonstration, uh, we decided we wanted to hear more. So Terakai invited us out to their Syracuse office 
and they showed us this amazing room with um, what was a telepresence SX20 set up with two screens, um, showed us the amazing audio and video quality, um, showed us multi-party video conferencing, screen sharing, everything we were looking for. They showed us how it was possible through Cisco telepresence. Then after we were sold, they actually came to our headquarters building and they set up a live video conferencing environment for our president and CEO. Um, they demonstrated the same audio and video quality that they had showed us back at their office. And not only that, they expressed the potential the solution had for future growth. It would not only work for what we were trying to accomplish, but we would also get a lot more out of that solution than just accomplishing that end goal. So really that's what sold us. I mean, the audio and video quality was amazing. Um, Terakai's expertise really is what sold us on Cisco Telepresence. So here's an overview of the solution that we imp implemented. Um, we built off of our existing phone system. So we were on uh, call manager 8.6 and we upgraded to uh, call manager 10.5, which has a high level of video integration. Uh, we installed 10 Cisco EX60 video endpoints, which would be placed at each of the subject matter experts' desks in order to connect into the smart office. Uh, we installed a Cisco conference bridge, which would enable the multi-party video conferencing. Um, that was used mainly for the smart office at first, but actually came to be used more internally for large conference calls so employees don't have to travel as much. Um, we installed one Cisco Telepresence SX20. Um, that was installed in the smart office in Farmington in order to connect the customer to that expert that they were looking for. Um, we needed to train all of the employees on the use of this whole system, and we had one month to do all of that. So pretty, pretty strict timeline, but Terakai never faltered, and obviously everything got put in in time. So the first step in the implementation was upgrading our phone system. So around the close of business, we, uh, we backed up and prepared to take the phone system down for upgrade. Um, short while after that, maybe an hour or so, we began the upgrade. A couple hours later, the first phone server had successfully upgraded. Then, you know, a few coffees later, uh, kind of a late night that night, as I'm sure David can attest to, um, the final phone server successfully upgraded. And then finally, a little while after that, um, all of the phones throughout the organization had finally registered to the new phone system. So long night, but the upgrade was done in one day. The next step in the uh, implementation was to install 10 Cisco EX60 video endpoints, as you can see right there. Um, we installed them for 10 different employees across five of our locations in one week. And all of those employees needed to be trained during that same week. So David came on site with someone from the Generations Bank team to all of those locations, um, removed their old phone, installed the EX60, which is the integrated monitor, phone, camera, touch screen, and really just sat down with our employees and showed them how it worked. And they, he didn't leave any location until he was sure that they understood. And realistically, the touch panel is exactly like using a smart or a smartphone. Um, all of us have smartphones, and really once they got over the different look of it, it was exactly like dialing their old Cisco phone before that. So real easy transition and never heard a problem after David left each office. The next step in the implementation was to install the Cisco Conference Bridge. That was installed and configured on site with us. Um, David connected it to the new call manager. Um, then we actually got a multi-party video conference call up and running. So we tested it with uh, three or four participants. And once we were confident that that was working, that was the end of that, and that took less than one day. The next piece of the implementation was to install the Cisco Telepresence SX20. 
And as you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, that's actually a photo of our smart office in Farmington. Um, David came on, on site to that location to install that. Um, he met with contractors while the building was still under construction to ensure that the desk height would be high enough for the camera, um, the chairs wouldn't be too low, that you'd have good eye contact between the customer and the employee. And once all of that stuff was in place, they really configured it for our specific needs. So as you can see, the two screens down there, um, the left one is dedicated to video conferencing, so the employee would be on that screen. And then if they were sharing content, it would be over on the right-hand screen over there. So really, the implementation timeline, we ended up ahead of schedule. That's our office down there finished, and that, that's probably around October when we opened October 1st. Um, so strict timeline at first, one month, but we ended up ahead of schedule, so we're very pleased about that. Benefits? Um, we increase the connection between our employees and our customers. Um, market to market, it doesn't matter which market we have an employee in. Um, you could be an Auburn, you could be an Auburn customer and need to talk to a Farmington employee. Not a problem at all. This makes it seamless and you meet that person face to face. You don't meet them over a conference call. You don't meet them through email. You have that face to face meeting without inconveniencing the customer and having them travel. And then the ability to service customers more efficiently. Again, that subject matter expert doesn't need to travel from Auburn to Farmington or from Farmington to Geneva or anywhere, really. He's, they're available at their desk all the time, and all of our employees can be comfortable that if they try to transfer a call over to them, they'll be at their desk most of the time. Um, decreased employee travel, that kind of goes hand in hand with what I was just talking about. Um, also, employees can now meet with other employees via telepresence. So that's less, expe less expense mileage for big conferences and meetings and that kind of thing. And um, experts now have more time in their home office, so they're always accessible. It allows them to get more work done, spend less time traveling. So overall, really just um, more efficient. Um, Another benefit was also the infrastructure. This whole process laid the groundwork for additional video collaboration throughout our offices. Um, we recently expanded our video footprint to 10 additional employees. Uh, we gave those to our office managers and we gave it to our senior management team so they can now meet face-to-face -face as easily as making a phone call. And so far the reception has been phenomenal. And then the final benefit is just efficiency. Our employees can communicate not only with customers but with coworkers like never before. Um, business opportunities are no longer missed due to being out of the office. Collaboration across different offices and markets, markets has never been easier. I really can't say enough for the Terakai team and also the solution they laid out for us. It, it's really been a great process and we're very, very happy with the results. So with Derek, this is, uh, hi everyone, this is uh, David Hasper. To kind of add to that, uh, Derek, you know, one of the things that we've had conversations before as well is that you were talking about how the business manager is able to have, you know, meetings be meetings across with all the different employees, where before they would have a, they would bring them into the office as you talk about lowering the cost of driving in. You know, now they're able right. to have that immersive conversation that they weren't able to have before without having to drive into the office. Absolutely. And with the with the bridge capability being able to bring in, you know, three or four of those employees as well into uh into one meeting as well, which has definitely been a benefit. Absolutely. It's been extremely beneficial for us. We've uh it, it gives a different dynamic to our customers that we're willing to go the extra mile and bring that extra employee in just to make sure that they get the service that they need and deserve. Derek, that was great. Um, I think it's about time we'll turn this over to David now. David, I'm going to pass the ball to you and let you kind of take over your end and give us a little bit of a deeper dive into, um, into Cisco Telepresence and its capabilities. Absolutely. So. As I'm uh, bringing up my 
uh, presentation. Um, I'm going to add on to uh, what Derek was saying and also uh, expand on it a little bit more. So one of the main things that uh, when we talk to customers is, is why, why Cisco? And one of the things that we really enjoy about Cisco is that it's an all-in-one collaboration solution. So with Cisco, everybody knows Cisco owns the hardware for networking. So they've done a really good job with that and they brought that to market and, and are one of the market leaders in that category. So for them to bring on phone and then become the market leader in phone and then to acquire uh, Tamburg about eight years ago and incorporate video into it too, they now have a true all-in-one collaboration solution. So they have the entire complete service offering and then collaboration for every user device and location. So that's one of the important things to talk about too is that it shouldn't matter where you are and what device you're on, you should be able to join a conference. And that's what Cisco has been able to do by bridging in all the different uh, products that they own. You can differentiate communications, cost-effective, high-quality package designs. Uh, you'll see in one of my slides where uh, they just did a complete revamp of their lineup back last year, last March, and you can see that they've really uh, brought in a more higher-end design into uh, their look and feel. So simple deployment and management. So this is really talking about the BE6K, which is what Generations Bank already had in place. And so we were able to upgrade on that existing platform of their call manager and then really take advantage of the video integration piece in. This goes really big about being uh, open and interoperable with third-party applications and devices, you know, using a lot of the standards that other, cust uh, other manufacturers use as well. So then that way we can communicate between the two and not have to fight uh, between proprietary protocols. Want to be scalable, highly available, and also be uh, flexible as well. So with the BE6000, uh, the business, adult, business Edition 6000, it really has the ability to do all of this on one box. It does run VMware in the background on the uh, UCS server, and these come actually right from the manufacturer. It ships with all these uh, built in. It's just a matter of which ones uh, does the customer need to have spun up and uh, deployed and uh, installed in their environment. Cisco's really taken their entire video infrastructure and made it virtual as well now, which a lot of the competitors are still trying to catch up with. So I talked about all the different capabilities here. With Generations Bank, they already had the call control with the Unified Communications Manager, uh, Unity. They did have uh, Jabber deployed. So we were able to take what they already had and just enhance it with a little bit of video as well. So the power to collaborate. Cisco Jabber is another one of uh, Cisco's products that they have uh, have purchased over the years and integrated into their solution. So with Cisco Jabber, you're able to do instant messaging throughout your entire company, but now it also has the ability to do video as well. So whether you're on iPhone or an Android phone, uh, we can see the Samsung over here, uh, or a tablet, you can now do instant messaging inside the business and also outside of the business with anybody else, but also do video calls now. So you can do the business-to-business -business video calls right from a Jabber client on a phone. You can have your cell phone registered just like a regular desk phone while you're outside of the office and make business calls. One of the, the reason I brought that up is one of the customers that we were working with, it, they were looking to upgrade their phone system. Well, they were doing a lot of overseas traveling uh, over into Europe and India and China, and their data plans on the cell phones were, and their phone minutes were going way up, and there was a very high cost in them using their, using their phones overseas. Well, with the Jabber client, they were able to bring it up while they're overseas. It now connects using the data plan, which is a lot cheaper than international roaming minutes, 
and they were able to make phone calls back to the United States through their Jabber client. Uh, and they've been really happy with this, and it's actually been a huge return on investment for them for the uh, investment that they made into the Business Edition 6000 uh, collaboration tool. So as I talk about, we, we want to be able to bring together and achieve amazing things, right? So with video conferencing, Generations Bank is able to capture those customers that walk into a branch and immediately get that conversation with uh, the mortgage specialist or uh, insurance, where if a customer or anybody typically walks into a bank and asks for one of them, they got to set up a meeting and then they, they would have to come back to that branch. Well, now there's no more waiting, it's instant. A couple of the other ways that we've been able to uh, leverage video and help some of our customers is that, uh, especially in the manufacturing, you know, we have, we've have, we have it installed in a couple of different manufacturers where they're actually able to do uh, live video calls uh, overseas to Europe instantly. So whether they have a plant in uh, Germany or India, they're able to communicate back with headquarters uh, in the states and have those conversations. So we talk about you know return on investment. Travel costs is is huge when you talk about international uh, flight. But also, it's the ability to bring people together um, that you wouldn't normally have that face-to-face -face conversation with. So the ability to not have to travel, have that high-quality video conversation is is you're able to have more of those immersive conversations that you wouldn't have before unless you flew. And just with like uh, what Derek said with Generations Bank, you know, the managers are able to talk to the employees now um, that are at the different branches without having to travel and, and being able to read facial expressions and, and see if they understand and uh, be able to read some of those cues that you can't get through a phone conversation. Cisco is, is really is the industry leading meeting solutions. Uh, with Cisco WebEx, there, you're able to bring a lot of people together really easily from one link. You know, we're all here on this WebEx now. This is something that Cisco has really been able to make very easy for end customers. So when, we, when we're able to set this up for our customers, they take advantage of it. It could be just as uh, easy to use for trainings, so for HR departments to be able to train employees that are scattered all across, uh, to bring salespeople together from anywhere. We've even had a customer that set this up and was using this for interviews. So instead of paying for those flight costs to fly people into their headquarters, they were able to do a video conference meeting uh, with that potential employee to get that first uh, reaction and understand if that's something that they want to pursue before flying them in. And this is completely uh, integrated into Outlook and uh, Lotus Notes as well. So with Cisco owning uh, WebEx and owning Telepresence, what they've been able to do is fully integrate those in. So they have what's called the collaboration meeting room. So it's a virtual, it's a bridge that sits up in the cloud, and this really allows uh, people to take advantage of those high definition room setup. We saw how Generations Bank has their uh, telepresence room set up in the smart office. It's to be able to leverage the high definition camera, and then also bring in someone that may be traveling, you know, through an iPad or an iPhone, and bring the experience in together. And with that, through the virtual cloud, we're able to bring in 25 of those video endpoints, whether it is Cisco Telepresence or another uh, device that is allowed to dial SIP URI, and then also uh, merge in 500 WebEx users all into one conference that's held in the, held in the cloud. So when we talk, of, talk about video, we want to make sure that it's capable uh, from anywhere in any any type of room setup. So whether it be on your browser, on the smartphone, to your home office, to a small collaboration room, to a full-blown uh, boardroom or meeting space, uh, Cisco has a, uh, the ability to do that. And so we can see that from uh, this lineup. And again, this lineup was just revamped back uh, 
a year ago. They have what's called um, the MX series, which the MX series is a great portable uh, solution for small rooms. Uh, the MX200 and 300, it's just a size screen difference. Uh, these come with microphones that can be laid out onto the table, uh, so you get high quality audio. And then the video camera is built in. And these have a couple different uh, flexible options as well. They could be put on a mobile cart and rolled around a different office. The MX700 and 800, they're larger. Uh, the MX700 is dual 55-inch screens, and the configuration can be either with one camera or a two camera. The two camera is what it, uh, Cisco calls the speaker track option. This is a really cool option in that it's able to actually find uh, someone that's talking in the room uh, through triangulation on the microphone array. It'll find that person, it'll zoom in on them, and then using facial recognition in the, uh, in the hardware, it locates and centers the person's face in the frame and zooms them in. So when you're sitting in this conference room and you have the camera zoomed in on you, the far end person actually feels like that they're talking to this person uh, individually. And if everybody in the room starts talking, it zooms back out and it captures the whole room. It's a really, uh, uh, really good technology that Cisco has developed that's unique to the video conferencing space, uh, and they really honed it in and perfected it with the facial recognition capability and having two cameras. So one camera will find the person that's talking, and then when someone else starts talking, the second camera is finding that person, and it'll do a live swap uh, over. So there's no more movement of the camera across the room to who's talking. So that could be with the MX700, or it can go into the integrated series. So this bottom row, this is really if you already have a conference room uh, set up with speakers and microphones, it could be integrated into this. Or it could, or if you have a new room and you're looking for the TVs and the camera to be an all-in-one unit, uh, the MX series takes care of that. And then we get into the immersive room, which is a uh, Cisco's um, very high-end video capability. You can see in this picture that it has the three TV screens and the half table, and then at the other end, they will have another half table. So when you're sitting at these tables, it looks like you're sitting right across the table from the other person, and um, these could be set up anywhere in the world. And again, with, with Cisco's collaboration, there, their main purpose is to make it easy for anybody to walk into a room, plug in a computer, and share content. And they've been able to do this with this entire lineup. Uh, all these Cisco devices, and even the ones that are deployed out through Generations Bank, is three-button dialing. So it makes it extremely used for employees to pick up and use. You push the directory, you find the person you want to call, and then a big green button pops up on the touchpad, and you hit call, and it goes. It's very simple to use. The Cisco video endpoints are, in Cisco's eyes, look just exactly like a phone now for how they are registered back to Unified Communications Manager. So whether you have desk phones or even the video uh, phones and the video endpoints, they, to Cisco, they look the same. So when we were able to deploy this out into Generations Bank, they already had the phone system. Now we're just introducing a different type of phone that has video built in. And you can see from this, uh, from these lineups uh, some of the different sizes that they have to fit the need of any desk. And as Derek mentioned, they're using the EX60, which is the all-in-one video unit. Uh, this is the later model that was just released. This is the DX80. And this can, this will, a lot of employees are set up with dual monitor. You're able to take away one of those monitors and use one of these monitors as an extension of the computer and you can easily minimize the video image and still maintain use of your desktop while in a video call. These three devices right here, the DX650, DX70, and DX80, are running Android 4.1, so these are actually touchscreen capable uh, devices as well. 
So always on collaboration at your desk. I talked about the three units and you can see that the different sizes could be set up in different, uh, uh, different types of offices to meet the needs. This one, to give you an approximate size, is 14 inches, and this is a, a 22 inch monitor. This one, uh, when they developed it, they developed it with new technology where the microphones are actually right here in the feet. And with the microphones in the feet, they're actually designed to only pick up sound that's directly in front of the monitor. So if you deploy this in, uh, say, a cube farm, as I like to call them, with multiple people sitting all over the office and talking, with the microphone only picking up what's directly in front of it, it, it does not pick up any of the sound surrounding it for people talking. So it's very, uh, it's very nice to be able to deploy this in that field and not pick up background noise while you're talking to others through video. So Cisco has the ability to do uh, self-provisioning and endpoint coverage. So we're able to set these up on people's desks and with the touch of a button, we can enter in uh, their new extension and it'll automatically configure that device for the end user. So it makes it very easy to deploy as well. And then we have the ability to give a link out to employees throughout the company as well. So they may already have a phone assigned to them, but maybe they want to add their cell phone and they want to they want the ability of when someone calls their desk, it will ring out to their cell phone. We're actually pushing that capability out to the user, so it's a little bit less uh, management needs from the IT staff as well. So the big thing with uh, Cisco Collaboration, it's very easy to deploy, very easy to customize, and very easy to own. So that's it with uh, my presentation. So I'm going to hand it back over to Jake. Thank you very much, Derek and David. Great presentation from both of you guys. I do have a few questions from our attendees that I'd like to post to you guys now. Derek, how have customers responded to the telepresence system in your smart office? Um, the reception from customers has been phenomenal thus far. Uh, a lot of customers have walked in and kind of looked at the room and, it, it, I mean, at first sight, it, it's a big empty room with screens and a camera and what is this? Wow. And then one of our personal bankers would take them in, connect them with one of our insurance agents or our investment advisor representative or a loan specialist and show them how it works and, you know, maybe share a document with them just to kind of show how it works. And, I mean, I've had multiple people come up to me and say that, they would feel completely comfortable without being prompted from uh, bank staff to, you know, just go in there and try to connect with whoever they need to connect with on their own. So, I mean, it, it's a testament to how easy the calling is and how comfortable you become with the solution once it's laid out in front of you. Cool. Now, the next question I have, can you give us an idea of how geographically widespread your branch offices are, Derek? Yeah, absolutely. Our offices are, um, between our two farthest locations, there's probably about an hour and a half. We're spread out throughout the Finger Lakes region of central New York. So um, pro we stretch from the Auburn area to um, our new office, Farmington. So probably about an hour and a half span. All right. Now, can you tell us a little bit more about how your employees have used the telepresence technology, um, uh, especially from a training aspect. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we haven't really delved into using it for training just yet, but now that we have more endpoints in the offices, I think that's something that we'll see farther down the line. We have a training officer here at our headquarters building that we could certainly set up, you know, she could video conference multiple people and do a training right from there instead of having people come in to do a training session. They could do it from their office. So I think there's a lot of value in that. Um, how our employees are using it right now is a lot, of, a lot of times an office manager would say, you know, I need to talk to the office manager of Auburn and 
they, they would drive to Auburn, they would have lunch, and they would talk. Well, now it, that takes a lot of time out of your day because it's, you know, 25 minutes there, 25 minutes back, lunch, meeting, and then, you know, you're gone half the day. Well, now they can queue up that video call and, you know, just as simple as picking up the phone, they're staring face-to-face -face with the person they want to talk to. They can have their meeting, discuss, share content, share spreadsheets, and then it's over and half their day isn't gone. So th that's been a big benefit for us is that people are more readily available than they were previously. Great. That's really all the questions we had for now. Uh, Derek and David, thank you once again for your presentation, and thanks, everyone, for attending our webinar. We look forward to talking with you again soon. Have a great day. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody.